Hey everybody and welcome to the next video for the project Build a Data Analysis Library from Scratch in Python. In this video we're going to be installing an IPython kernel for Jupyter. In the last video we ran all the unit tests in this project with the excellent PyTest library. Now we ran those unit tests down here on our command line and we have uh, when we ran those tests, we were in the pandas cub environment, which we had created in the previous step. So the pandas cub environment was active, and we ran those tests. So when we ran pytest, it went into this test folder, and this, uh, in particular, this test data frame.py file ran all these tests. Now, the only uh, the the only Python code and Python libraries that are available uh, to this project are those that are contained within the environment pandas cub. So whatever libraries were uh, downloaded and installed during our environment creation, that is what is available to us. So for instance, we downloaded uh, pandas, which also downloaded numpy, so we have those uh, libraries available to us. We did not download or install the scikit-learn library, so that library is not available to us. So that's you know one thing that environments uh, give us is just an isolated area with only the particular you know uh, packages um, that we installed in that particular environment. Now in this notebook or in this video, we're going to be launching a Jupyter notebook. So I particularly like Jupyter notebooks to test code and to sort of experiment with how you know my uh, my, my data frame class is, you know, looking and, and how it's interacting. So, and it's a great environment to get quick feedback and to iterate quickly. So, uh, you don't have to use Jupyter Notebooks for this. You can use uh, IPython, the IPython shell, which should be started in the terminal. Um, but I like uh, Jupyter Notebooks. So, I want to teach you guys how to actually hook up Jupyter Notebooks to your environment. Now, Interestingly enough, if you launch a Jupyter Notebook uh, from the command line, even though you're in the pandas cub environment, you will not be automatically connected to that particular environment just because you've launched a Jupyter Notebook. So Jupyter is actually disconnected um, you know, from uh, the actual machinery that's running the code. And the machinery that's running the code is called a kernel. Um, and that's uh, and you can create um, and we're going to create a, a kernel. Uh, we're going to install a particular kernel that will be able to connect directly to our pandas cub environment. And that's exactly what we're going to do in this uh, particular video. So just to get started, um, before we even launch Jupyter Notebook, I'm going to launch the IPython shell with the command IPython. So uh, it's not uh, apparent, at least just by running this, where exactly the uh, executable, executable version of Python is actually running. I know it says pandas cub over here, but there should be a way to verify this, and there is. So the uh, sys library, SYS, the system library for Python, which is a built-in, or is a standard library, I should say, can uh, help us get information on uh, on what, where our Python is running. So the executable attribute um, available in the sys library will tell us the location of where uh, actual the actual Python uh, is actually running. So here we are. Um, we can see that we're inside this environments folder and inside pandas cub and um, and the you know, Python binary is right here. So we, uh, so so now we know for sure. We have verified that in fact, um, when we run IPython, we are actually within this pandas cub uh, environment. So if I uh, if I try to, I did not uh, download scikit-learn, but if I try to import scikit-learn, that is just simply not going to work. So let me go ahead and exit out of this. Uh, this particular IPython shell. And let me go ahead and deactivate this environment just to get to my base 
environment, um, which does have scikit-learn uh, installed. So, so I'm going to go ahead and run IPython again, just so you can see the difference. So I'm in here, I'm going to import sys again, and then get the output of sys.executable. And you can see that my base environment doesn't actually go in, there's no ends folder, the environments folder is not there. It just goes straight to this uh, this binary uh, folder where Python is located. So you can see the where Python is executed is in a completely different uh, part of your file system, um, depending on what environment you're in. Okay, so let me get out of here, and let me activate pandas cub again. So I'm right here. I'm in pandas cub. Now the interesting thing is, I if I want to launch a Jupyter notebook, and I will do so right now with the command Jupyter space notebook. So this is going to open up in my browser. All right here. And uh, I have already created this test notebook that I will use to show you um, how I sort of manually test. But first we have to hook up the Conda environment to the Jupyter notebook. Okay, so here we are in the notebook. I just opened it up. And I have that same uh, just uh, executable path right here. None of the cells are run. It's just a very short notebook. I'm going to go ahead and execute this first cell, and it's going to tell me exactly where the executable is. And it says, uh, so this is probably a surprising uh, you know, finding. You, you, you launch a Jupyter notebook, you're in your Pandas Cub environment, and all of a sudden you're met with this uh, unfortunate um, you know, output here that says, actually, you know what, you're not, um, you're not in the environment that you think you're in. And if you try to import, say, scikit-learn, that will work because I have uh, scikit-learn in my base environment, but I don't have it in uh, the pandas cub environment. So what we need to do is we're going to shut this down. So let me close out of this. And I'm going to close out of the, the Jupyter Notebook. I'm going to shut down. So um, I have to issue one command to install a new IPython kernel just for this particular environment. Now, this is found within the documentation. So this is not something um, that you just sort of, it's not some magic. This is directly in the documentation, and I have a link for it right here. So I'm just going to go ahead and copy and paste this. So it's a command that begins with Python, and we're going to install this IPython kernel um, just for the user. And um, the name of the Python kernel is going to be called pandas cub. And the display name, this is just some extra that uh, um, will help you uh, find it a little bit easier. You can make this whatever you want. But uh, this is what we'll see in the Jupyter Notebook. It'll be called uh, Python and then pandas cub in parentheses. So this is the command you need to run in order to create this kernel, which will be able to execute only in your pandas cub environment. So a kernel is simply just a, you know, a program that uh, runs the code and introspects the code. Okay, so um, it's what communicates uh, the code that you write um, uh, you know, in the Jupyter Notebook area and how it, uh, and, and, and finds the correct interpreter and, um, uh, executes the code. Okay, so let's go ahead and run this. All right, so it says installed kernel spec pandas cub in this directory. And if you run the command, uh, Jupyter kernel spec list, you get a list of all the kernels that are available to you. So before we just had one kernel, this Python 3 kernel. Now we have pandas cub. So now if we launch Jupyter again, so I'm going to run the same thing, Jupyter Notebook. I'm going to go ahead and open up Test Notebook. So I'm going to go ahead and execute this one more time. Oh, and it says, okay, it says we're still not in the right environment. 
So, um, and this is correct. What you need to do is you have to go to you need to go to kernel, and then you're gonna, this kernel menu up here. Click on kernel. Go to change kernel, and then click on. Now you have a list of choices: pandas, cub, um, or Python three. This is what we're currently in. Now, when you choose pandas cub, it's going to restart. So it's got a, uh, you know, all of your work will not be any variables in this notebook will be lost. Um, so it's going to restart the kernel, and you can see that over here it says restarting, and then it's ready. So I'm going to go ahead and re-execute this cell, and now you can see that. Pan now we're in pandas cub. So if I try to for instance, import scikit-learn, this is not going to work. I don't have scikit-learn in this current environment, in the pandas cloud environment. Okay, so uh, that's mainly what I wanted to show, but um, now that we've hooked it up to pandas cub, I'm going to actually go ahead and uh, save this. When you exit out, so I'm going to exit out of here again, and I'm going to exit out of the whole Jupyter Notebook system. Now that I've set the kernel for that notebook, the notebook has some metadata on it that um, informs Jupyter about what is the kernel. So if I go here and I click on test notebook again, you'll see that it automatically puts me in the pandas cub environment. And I just ran that and ran the first two cells again. And you can see that it is in the environment that I want to do. So you only have to set it up once per notebook. Now, of course, you can go back and change the kernel back to any, uh, to, to whatever it is that you want. And um, if you have, you can have more than two kernels. So uh, you're not limited to just uh, two. Also, another thing, when you start a new notebook now, so on the left hand side, you're given a choice of which kernel you'd like to start it with. So that's uh, additionally how you can um, that's how you would set up the default kernel. So from now on out, this notebook will be opened up with the pandas cub kernel, unless you, of course, manually change it again from the kernel menu. Okay, so that's, uh, that's how you install a new kernel uh, uh, in the Jupyter Notebook. And again, this is just, uh, just unfortunate that it doesn't come uh, automatically there are a couple other libraries that are available, um, but it's just not as robust as doing it with this particular command. So unfortunately, this is the command that I'm going to suggest to use in order to uh, make sure that you've um, you know, hooked up your Jupyter system to uh, the correct uh, you know, environment. Okay, in the next video we'll be manually testing out um, our code, our data frame in the Jupyter Notebook.